Thank you, Mr. Chairman and committee. Uh, for the record, my name is uh, J.D. Bernardi. I represent Rockingham 36, five towns on the southeast border of New Hampshire, Kensington, Hampton Falls, Southampton, Newton, and Plastow. I'm from Southampton. I rise to present House Concurrent Resolution 1, Convention of States. Article 5 establishes two paths to create a constitutional amendment. Not a constitutional convention, but a constitutional amendment. Those two paths are either Congress or a convention of two-thirds of the states may propose an amendment then three-quarters of the states in either route are required to ratify that amendment before it becomes an amendment, not a, change, not a redo of the Constitution, but an amendment to the Constitution. Neither of these processes would be successful if the great will of the American people was not behind it. Polls have shown an overwhelming bipartisan support for the Convention of State subject matter. This resolution seeks a convention to impose fiscal restraints on the, on the federal government, commonly referred to as a balanced budget amendment, limit powers and jurisdictions of the federal government, and impose term limits on federal officials. The common tasking has been adopted by 19 other states to date. Again, there's overwhelming public support to address these issues. 55% of Democrats, 65% of independents, 75% of Republicans, when polled, agree that these resolutions need to be taken up. Yet Congress does not act. Why is that? It's not in their interest to limit their financial or personal power or time in office. This point received considerable discussion during the Philadelphia Convention, forming our nation. The need for state convention was proposed initially by Charles Pinckney at the very start of the Constitutional Convention process. A summary of the statements of Mason and Randolph, both representatives from Virginia, concurs. They say, where, where in short, Congress would not always be trusted to do what is in the best interest of the country, and that when it, is, when, when it is the practice of Congress itself that gave rise to the need for amendments, some other body should be made available to the people to initiate changes to the Constitution. Federalist 51 addresses the need for checks and balances, separation of powers, but there also Madison writes, if men were angels, no government would be necessary. He further notes, should the provision of the Constitution as here reviewed by, to be, uh, be found not to secure the government and the rights of the states against usurpations and abuses on the part of the United States, the final resort within the Constitution lies in an amendment of the Constitution according to a process applicable by the states. Our contention is we have reached that point. We have reached the point where we need a convention of the states to impose fiscal restraints on the federal government, to limit federal power, returning it to the states, and to establish term limits for federal officials. These are issues rightfully to be discussed in the convention. 